Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Today let's look at how to connect iCal with Google Calendar. Now we've been able to connect iCal and Google Calendar for a while now. There's been some third party utilities that do it and also Google has supported this since July with the addition of the correct protocol to allow communication between the two different calendars. But recently they've added a ability to set this up very easily and they've made the collaboration between the two calendars official. So Google announced this on their blog earlier this week. If you go to the announcement, which can be found at googlemac.blogspot.com, you can see that they've got a setup program for iCal. Now this can be found at this following web address. Once you download this collaboration tool, it's fairly easy to go ahead and get things going. The first thing you'll be asked to do is to sign in with your Gmail email address and your password for your calendar. It will then show you a list of calendars and you can go and choose which ones you want to appear both in Google Calendar and in iCal. So it's best to start with a calendar that's in Google Calendar and bring that over to iCal. Now once you've got that going, I've tested it and it works great. You add something to Google Calendar and within five minutes it appears in your iCal and vice versa. You can make changes to events as well. So This is a great way to be able to share your calendar but still go ahead and keep using iCal. You can also make collaborative calendars this way by simply having a collaborative calendar at Google Calendar and then going ahead and bringing that into iCal and having people make changes to it that way. Now of course you need a Google account to be able to use Google Calendar but you probably already have one. If you have a Gmail account or if you use iGoogle or any of the Google services then you've already got a Google account and you've got a Google Calendar even if you've never used it. Now the whole thing is still far from perfect. For instance, when I left iCal open, I occasionally got messages that it wasn't able to connect to Google Calendar because the password was wrong. Well, I hadn't changed the password and if I entered it in again, it connected okay. So there's some connection problem. iCal by default is checking every five minutes in Google Calendar. So I guess sometimes it just doesn't quite connect and gives you a bad error message. Hopefully this will be corrected whether it's on the Apple side or the Google side. It's been a busy week for Google on the Mac side of things. In addition to this, they've also introduced the Google Earth browser plugin. This is the same thing as Google Earth, but you can view it in the browser window. To get to the Google Mac blog, all you need to go, do is go here and you can read all about all the new things going on at Google that relate to the Mac. Another thing that Google has done this week is add in new looks for Gmail. It's a whole different set of templates that you can go ahead and customize the look of Gmail. And in addition to that, there's an entire new look to the Google Reader if you use that application as well. Thanks for watching. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.